And 100 laps on the LEC Agility course. And there we go, 85 Agility achieved. And now me and my random inventory are going to leave this place for now. Oh yeah, take a look at the chat. I just got a new collection log item, Zerix Talisman Inert. This is the one I was looking for 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 from the stone chests. Only got 15 lizardmen thanks though, so only 15 teleports for now. So I'm gonna stay a little bit longer. But nice to get the talisman out of the way. And uh, now I can teleport around Zeya more easily. Okay, there we go, just got the second Xerix Talisman, so let's dismantle it for 100 Lizardman Fangs and add them to the one and I, Talisman I'm gonna use 158 charges now, so 158 teleports, hunting for that at least one Talisman more so I get over 250 charges, that would last a while Oh yeah, take a look at the chat, I just got the third Xerix Talisman today, let's dismantle it and 169 more Lizardman Fangs to add to my amulet, giving me a total of 341 charges. So that's enough for a while, but I'm gonna stay here until my inventory is empty with these anti-poisons, so I can't stay any longer. And then I'm going to the farming guild and do a little bit of farming there. Okay, so I just got to Tempers and finished first kill here. Now I have to kill count of 116, so let's see how long I will be here. Okay, so total kill count of 150 at Temporos. Still going strong, and actually how many points do I have now? I have 163 permits. Gonna continue to at least 500 permits before looting the pool, and hopefully then getting something nice. And there we go, kill count 223. Giving me over 500 permits again, 503. So I guess it's nice time to fish for the rewards and hopefully get some nice unique loot from Temporos. So next clip is gonna be me fishing from the reward pool. Okay, so as you saw in the last clip, I was fishing for the loot from 503 reward pyramids, and the reward are valued 2.55 million, but plus I gotta open up this casket next. And also I got the tackle box, which I wanted, so now I have the fish barrel and tackle box, still needing the pet, harpoon, and I think I need the tome still. Okay, now, now it's time to open the 28 caskets I got from the reward pool. I think I'm gonna get some Juverly and Rune items, don't know if I can drop something else. Sadly can't enchant the Juverly to get some nice teleports or anything, but... At least I can sell them for, ni so for some nice amount of money, I think. Okay, so I got 2.55 mil from the loot, and then the caskets give me 300k, so 2.85 million from the 503 reward permits boot plus a tackle box, so that's a nice loot to get. Okay, so I'm just fishing at the fishing guild and I just randomly realized I got a big zone fish. Nothing more to see here. 
And there we go, finally 90 fishing achieved. Still got 9 levels to go until maxed fishing. And I need um, 556k to the next level, so it's gonna take a while. I've been fishing in the fishing guild just to AFK some fishing rather than them active fishing at Temporos. But I have been thinking about going back to Temporos, but we will, we will see where the next level up happens. And there we go, 92 fishing achieved. I am halfway there, and also I reached 1350 total level with this. And there we go, below Ice Mountain completed for one quest point, 2k coins, but most importantly access to the ruins of Gam Dozal. And I can get the hammer, the wieldable hammer from this, which is why I did all of this. So time to get mining. Okay, first inventory of Baronite shards crushed, or deposits crushed, and I got the Baronite head and ancient tree three of these so I can I guess I can handle these in for the museum at least this one and this might be the hammer part not the hammer I'm looking for but the maze part actually so let's continue with this and hopefully get the hammer soon okay I'm doing my fourth inventory of baronite deposits breaking them at the baronite crusher and I just got the baronite head this is for the maze but I'm looking for a hammer Okay, this was inventory 7 of Baronite deposits and I got Ancient at Astroscope. Okay, I just thought of this. I could exchange 3k of Baronite shards to get a permanent 5% buff to your chance to, to find rare items in Kam Kamdozal. And I'm gonna do it. It is now active. Let's hope I get something nice now. And there we go, I got Ancient Karkanet. I think this is one of the items I can give to the Varrock Museum for one kudos or something like that. I got it, I got it, Inventory 9. Crushing these deposits and I got the Incando Hammer. How do I fix it? I found this broken hammer with the Baronite deposit. Okay, repair. And I got the Imkando Hammer. Now I have a wieldable hammer that I can use at Temporos or smithing or everything. It's not that important, I just wanted to grind for it. And it's done. It took... I I guess this was the time I took... Before update I mined a little bit and now under 2 hours. So I, I, I'd say 2 hours 15 minutes for this. And also I got those few maze parts that I can't build because I got killed the golems for the last part and few uh, exotic things for the museum so not too bad, not, not too long of a grind okay time to get three kudos by handing over these three artifacts to the curator Heikhalen Heikhalen, I don't know how to pronounce it nice okay so I just did the first game of Temporos and my Temporos still got two, is 224 now. And as, I, as you can see, I, I got 5 reward permits, giving me total 5 permits, so I started at 0 permits before heading here. So let's see how long I will stay here. Okay, okay, I know what you think, guys. This isn't looking like Temporos, and this isn't. The thing is that my clan just started, actually a day ago, a monthly skilling contest and this time the skill is agility but something special is going on which is that we have over 30 bonds up for grabs for the best five of us so i try to and compete really hard this time so that's why i am here I'm, and if i win any i'm not gonna get the bonds to this account i'm gonna give them to my main finish box because as a skiller it's hard to make money and even even if I fin win like two bonds it's gonna be like, I don't know, 10 mil or something so it's gonna really help out on that account on skilling 
So I really try hard this time to compete. And my current agility level is at is 85. And I am 337k XP away from 86. So it's gonna be a while for our next level. But I really try to ha compete hard this time. So wish me luck guys. And I'll get back to you whenever I get agility level. Or two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and just before I'm heading to Ardon Agility course, I have 1411 marks of grace. Let's see how many more I will get. Okay, this is my first time ever being on the Ardon Agility course. And as you saw from the last clips, I finished the 90 Agility at Relecca. And now the question becomes, do I get the Agility back before 99, which is still a lot of XP to go, or do I have to go past 99 for the pet? And if in case you are wondering about the agility competition I was talking about because when I changed from fishing to agility, I didn't get any prizes, I wasn't grinding hard enough, didn't get enough XP. But it was fun to participate in and I really got into agility now, so the competition was really worth for me that because I have gained many agility levels now and I will gain many more. Will I get 99 agility? Do I get the agility pet? When do I go back to Temporos? Answers to these questions and many more in the next episode.